Finally here tonight's Heart of America, and we meet the NASA scientists who repaired a spacecraft from 15 billion miles away, the Voyager 1. For over four decades, Voyager 1 has drifted silently through the void, carrying with it the echoes of humanity's earliest dreams of reaching the stars. Launched in 1977, it was built to explore the outer planets and then to continue outward into the great cosmic ocean. Over time, the spacecraft surpassed all expectations, becoming the most distant human-made object from Earth. Its journey into interstellar space was a triumph not only of engineering, but of imagination a monument to human curiosity. Yet recently, something happened that no one expected. Voyager 1, presumed by many to be simply a drifting relic, sent back a message that left scientists around the world stunned and the general public gripped with both awe and unease. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. It began with a faint signal, nothing more than a whisper from the edge of known space. NASA's Deep Space Network had been receiving routine telemetry data from Voyager 1, but for months prior, communication had been patchy. The craft, operating on dwindling power and enduring the harshest conditions in the cosmos, had started to show signs of degradation. Engineers were used to sorting through corrupted or incomplete data. However, this time the transmission was neither corrupted nor incomplete. It was intentional. What caught analysts off guard was the structure of the message. It did not resemble the usual stream of status updates or scientific measurements. Instead, it was highly ordered, almost patterned in a way that defied coincidence. It appeared to contain a binary sequence, precisely constructed, unmistakably deliberate. Even more unsettling was the fact that the pattern did not correspond to any pre-programmed response or automated system function. It was new. Voyager 1 had somehow sent something no one had told it to send. The team at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory scrambled to decode the signal. At first, theories bounced around wildly. Was it a glitch in the memory subsystem? A misfiring of ancient circuitry? Had solar radiation somehow reconfigured part of its onboard software? None of these explanations held up. The message repeated over and over, transmitted in a loop over the course of several hours. There was a consistency to it that seemed impossible given the probe's age and fragility. When the data was finally decoded, it wasn't numbers or telemetry they found. It was an image, constructed out of binary, pixel by pixel, like the earliest digital transmissions from Earth. The image was rough, grainy, and at first unclear, but as filters were applied and the data reconstructed, the shape emerged. It was not something from the spacecraft's instruments. It wasn't a star map or a photograph of a distant celestial body. It appeared to be a pattern, circular, complex, interwoven with geometric symmetry that bore an uncanny resemblance to ancient symbols found in human cultures across the globe. Spirals, triangles, intersecting lines, all forming a glyph-like emblem suspended against a dark background. No one knew what it meant, but its precision was unnerving. The implications were immediate and profound. First and foremost, Voyager 1 was not supposed to be capable of generating anything like this on its own. The spacecraft, designed in the 1970s, lacked the onboard computing capacity to synthesize a new data structure of this nature. It had no AI, no deep learning capabilities. Its brain was ancient by modern standards, a mere 68 kilobytes of memory. Yet here it was, sending a message more intricate than any signal it had ever transmitted before. The logical conclusion, though resisted by many in the scientific community, was inescapable. Voyager 1 had been modified or influenced by something external. Speculation turned rampant. Had Voyager encountered something out there in interstellar space? Something that saw it, understood it, and decided to respond through it? The very idea sounded like science fiction, but there was nothing fictional about the data. Independent teams across the globe verified the signal. The image was real. The transmission, authentic. The frequency matched Voyager's known broadcast signature. No spoofing, no hoax. Voyager 1 had sent a message that it had no apparent means to create. Astronomers began poring over its trajectory. Voyager had passed through the heliopause years ago, entering the interstellar medium. It had since traveled through regions of space that were completely uncharted. Could it have encountered something, a phenomenon, a structure, an intelligence capable of interacting with it? The thought was almost too large to hold. For decades, scientists have dreamed of first contact, but the assumption was that it would come in the form of radio signals from a distant planet, not through a decades-old probe transmitting from the darkness beyond the solar system. 
If the message was indeed crafted or influenced by something non-human, it would mark the most significant moment in the history of civilization, not only proof of extraterrestrial intelligence, but interaction, subtle, yes, but undeniable. A handshake in the dark offered across the unimaginable gulf between stars. Even more intriguing was the fact that the message's symbolic structure bore resemblances to human iconography. Researchers noted parallels to crop circle patterns, ancient mandalas, even certain Mesoamerican and Sumerian motifs. Was this coincidence? Was it a psychological projection? Are minds seeking patterns where none exist? Or was it something deeper? An indication that the intelligence behind the message knew something about us? If so, how? Some theorists posited that Voyager's golden record the phonograph disc attached to the spacecraft, containing sounds and images of Earth, had been received and understood. Perhaps the entity or entities had deciphered the information we included. Greetings in 55 languages, music from across cultures, images of Earth and its inhabitants. Perhaps this return message was a reply to that calling card, a recognition of our attempt to say, we are here. But the message was not just symbolic. Embedded within the image was a smaller pattern of binary code, denser, compressed. It took weeks to fully unravel, but when decoded, it revealed a set of coordinates. They pointed to a location far outside our solar system, near a star that had only recently been cataloged by Earth-based telescopes. It was unremarkable in most respects, a dim red dwarf too faint to be seen with the naked eye, but now it held humanity's attention like nothing else. Was it a destination? A beacon? A warning? No one knew. The coordinates were accompanied by a timestamp one that didn't match any Earth-based chronology but appeared to be counting down. It was still running. When converted into Earth time, the countdown suggested a moment exactly 14 months into the future. What would happen then? Would another message arrive? Would something be appear? The nature of the countdown triggered a flurry of activity in the scientific community. Telescopes were trained on the coordinates day and night. Space agencies debated whether to launch a new probe, though the timescales involved made it a futile gesture. Others argued for a message in return, an intentional reply sent from Earth aimed at the same coordinates, hoping to continue the dialogue. The debate, however, wasn't purely scientific. Religious leaders, political figures, and cultural commentators all weighed in. The implications stretched beyond physics into philosophy. If this message was indeed from another intelligence, then humanity was no longer alone. The universe, long considered vast and silent, had finally spoken, and it had chosen to speak through something we had sent. Our own voice, returning changed, bearing a message we could not yet fully understand. Meanwhile, Voyager 1 continued on its trajectory, silent again after the transmission. No further signals were received. Engineers confirmed that the spacecraft's systems had stabilized, but its power reserves were critically low. It might never speak again. And yet, it had already said something profound, something that no human probe had ever said before. One particularly haunting detail came to light during the final analysis. The last line of code in the transmission, buried deep within the data structure, included a sequence that matched the waveform of a human brain's electrical activity, specifically the pattern associated with deep sleep. It was unmistakably biological, and it left scientists speechless. Voyager had somehow recorded or replicated a human neural rhythm, a pattern that could only have come from life. But whose life? Was it something once recorded from Earth or something new? This detail changed the nature of the message. It wasn't just a reply or a signal, it was intimate, personal. It was as if something out there wasn't just acknowledging our existence, but reflecting it back to us in a form we'd never imagined. Voyager had always been a mirror of humanity's hope, our desire to be known, to be seen, now it had become something more, a bridge between minds. Governments have remained cautious, releasing only fragments of the data to the public. But those who have seen the full message speak of it with reverence, even fear, not because it was threatening, but because it was real. It defied every expectation. It shattered the comforting silence of space, and it left behind a single terrifying question. If someone out there had found Voyager, who are they? And what do they want? No aftermath yet. No response from Earth has been officially transmitted. No final conclusions have been reached. But Voyager 1 has changed the conversation forever. It has reminded us that the universe is not ours alone. That our attempts to reach out into the dark were not in vain. That sometimes the void answers back, not with words, but with something stranger and more profound. The signal remains endlessly analyzed, endlessly debated. Whatever sent it, whether alien, cosmic, or something beyond comprehension, used Voyager as a vessel. 
The old spacecraft, once thought to be drifting aimlessly through the cold, has become a lighthouse, a sentinel at the edge of the human known. And now the world waits, breath held, for what comes next. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Voyager 1's final message? What do you expect next? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.